people. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, y'all can say the date again. August the 6th, Virgil Ortiz, Michael McKinson. It looks like none other than Sinisa Estrada, super bad herself. She will be back in the ring. She will be making a long way to return. An eight-month layoff, which I think is a disgrace. I mean, when you look when you look at the performance she had against Maria Santizio, it was a pound for pound performance. It was the best performance of her career. She she dropped her in the orthodox stance. She stopped her in the southpaw stance, and um, you know Golden Boy really thwarted her momentum by not getting her a fight early in the year. So you know, really, really just a, a shame from Golden Boy Promotions on, on on not doing right by Sinisa Estrada. But the positive thing is, at least now she's back in the ring. Um, they haven't. 100% confirm the opponent, but there's rumors that the opponent is supposed to be Annabelle Ortiz again, again. Are y'all are y'all are y'all serious, Annabelle Ortiz? And I don't know if that's the if that's the opponent for sure yet, but if that's the opponent that that she's gonna be fighting next, Annabelle Ortiz. Man, Golden Boy's on some bullshit. Are you serious? Now look, I, I hope I hope the reports are wrong. I hope that all the rumors are wrong that it's not Annabelle Ortiz. Cause look, the reality is, Sinisa fought Annabelle Ortiz. I respect Annabelle Ortiz. She was a champion that had defended the belt tons of times in Mexico and whatnot. But Annabelle Ortiz is not uh, the kind of fighter at this juncture in time. Sinisa needs to be fighting. She already beat her. It wasn't a competitive fight. There was no robberies. There's no reason for a rematch. Um, and she dropped her too. So it's like. I get you got to get her back in the ring, but get her back in the ring with somebody else but Annabelle Ortiz, okay? Uh, or, or, or anybody else she's beat. If she, if, if she would have fought Tenkai Tsunami, Tsunami again, I would have said, what the, fuck, what, what the fuck are they doing making a Tenkai Tsunami fight? Like, look, Sinisa Estrada is a fantastic fighter. I think, in my opinion, this is the, and, and this has always been my opinion. It, you know, it, it didn't take Golden Boy Promotions uh, signing her for me to feel this way. It didn't take me seeing on TV for me to, for me to, for me to uh, feel this way. I thought this for a legitimate like seven years. The most talented and best fighter in women's boxing, skill for skill, is Nisa Estrada. Okay, and when you have a fighter like that, with with her kind of a skill set, that's a, a generational type of talent in women's boxing, uh, someone that has a chance to really be a big star. You know, you gotta you gotta keep this person active. This person gotta be. This type of fighter has to be active and in your face all the time. The way the way that top rank moves Xander Zayas and, and, and you can't watch a top rank call without seeing Xander Zayas, I feel like that's the way um you know Golden Boy should be moving to Nisa Estrada. She should have already had she should have already headlined her own card. I mean, right now as I'm shooting this video, it's it's June twenty fourth, I think. Uh, uh June twenty sixth is Sinisa Estrada's birthday. In two days for me for in less than two days for me shooting this video, Sinisa Estrada is going to be thirty years old. And she will have never headlined a, a big show for Golden Boy Promotions. That to me is a travesty. When we look at like, I guess like her career, it just it, it's been good. Like you 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 appreciate what Golden Boy has done because this is a fighter in Sinisa that wasn't even fucking signed at one point. So they've actually done right by her in many ways by making her even somewhat well known. But I really feel like when you sign a talent like that, you gotta get the maximum return on your investment. And um, that hasn't happened. I don't. I know. I don't know if it's because Sinisa got big headed. Maybe she got big headed and she wanted to like start demanding, un making unrealistic purse demands. Maybe she got big headed. Who knows? I'm not there. I I'm not privy to negotiations. I'm not privy to the money talk. I and personally, I, don't, I really don't give a fuck about the money talk. But you just don't know what's going on behind closed doors. But I do know from talking to her that she has grown discouraged about her career, and uh, she's back though. She's back, and and and, I, and that's a positive thing. Coming coming in off an eighth month layoff. And the, and, the, and the good thing is, right, if she goes in there and just has another statement performance um, against, you know, whoever the hell she's fighting next, Golden Boy still has one big fight in the back pocket for Sinisa, which I think is a great fight. The Marlena Sparza rematch, you know, and I think it's got a, it, it's become a better fight in recent years because Sinisa has now become two-division champion. Uh, she, she did that last year. And now... Marlena Sparza has become champion at 112, a weight class in which Sinisa Estrada has not won a world title win. So for Sinisa, that fight will be intriguing because, you know, that will be a chance for her to, to become a three-division champion. And not just that, really put an end to the rivalry, you know, 
put an end to the to the his to, to the trilogy, so to speak, and uh, make her own legacy for herself and and, and beat Marlena Esparza in a rematch. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, that that that's a fight Golden Boy has in the back pocket, um, and that's what it is. But uh, yeah, good good news. Uh, super super bad is back in the ring. You know, August the sixth, out there at uh, Fort Worth, Texas, at the Dickies Arena. I'm going to be at that fight because I want to watch Virgil Ortiz versus Michael McKinson. I can't sit here bitching more about the fight and go on a crusade for this fight to happen on Twitter with, uh, you know, Virgil and, and, and his fans and Michael McKinson and, and not go to the fight and support it. So I'm, I'm going to be at this fight looking forward to talking to Stacey and, and picking her brain and seeing just where it's at right now in her career because, uh, you know, I really feel like while we're in a golden age of women's boxing, because we are, we are in a golden age, we just had... Uh, potentially the, the fight of the year in all of boxing with Taylor and Serrano. We're getting Alicia and Bumgarner versus Michaela Mayer. We're getting Savannah Marshall versus um, Crusher Shields. We're getting these great fights, but um, it seems like Sinisa Estrada, for as talented as she is, she's missing out. She's missing out on the Golden Age in women's boxing, and it's uh, it really is a crying shame. So that's the news. Sinisa Estrada back in the ring August 6th against sp supposedly Annabelle Ortiz. Hopefully not, but uh, yeah. You guys leave your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching True School Sports. No, follow this kid. Oh. You know, he's a true, uh, you know, he's a young, true, uh, passionate uh, uh, person who follows boxing. He, 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 he wakes up thinking about boxing and he goes to sleep thinking about boxing. This is, so, this is true. This is good true. kid, good man, and... Looking forward to seeing him uh, everywhere yeah. in the boxing world. Hey, man, if you ain't subscribed to True School Sports, you're fucking up, man. Make sure you subscribe, bro. Fucking up big time. Make sure, man. <laughs>